Hello, hello, Jeanne-Marie Penel here for another Montessori moment. My apologies for being a tiny bit late, but um, I fell and needed to deal with that. Things happen, right? Uh, but I'm here for you to answer your Montessori parenting questions and positive discipline. And uh, so for those of you who don't know me, I am Jeanne-Marie Penel and this hair is bothering me. I am Jeanne-Marie Penel, uh, the founder and owner of Voila Montessori, where I guide, support, and encourage parents to be the very best parent that they can be, uh, blending Montessori and positive discipline, because those are what I have found to be the best uh, tools and principles to guide me as a parent and also to guide all of the parents that I mentor. Hello, Susie. Good, so you can hear me and see me well. Um, I miss my little time slot to to uh, be on. So where are you joining me from? I'm always intrigued by where people are uh, calling in from because this uh, community has become quite global and it's really, really, really lovely. So today I wanted to answer a few questions that I received on um, Instagram and through messages. And one uh, particularly that I think I will uh, spend some time, Miami, okay. So there's a direct flight from Miami to Curacao, I've learned recently. <laughs> Anyways, I'm here, as, as some of you might know, I'm here in uh, Curacao, which is an island in the Caribbean off the coast of Venezuela. I've been here for three months now, helping to start the first Montessori school uh, here on the island. And it has been a beautiful, beautiful adventure, which is sadly coming to an end. Um, I will be leaving, not this Saturday, but the following Saturday. So, um, and then taking a little time off before, um, kind of in between here and getting home. Uh, a trip that was planned uh, with some girlfriends in Panama, so I'm really looking forward to that. And uh, But until then, I am here for you for a Montessori moment. So today, the question that came up was, how do I shield uh, my 18-month-old from our, our arguments and our conflicts? And so for me, this is a great, great question and very important and one of self-awareness, one of self-awareness in knowing when the conflict is rising and being able to, um, first of all, have a conversation with your partner ahead of time of, I've noticed that, you know, we have, we have conflicts that come up most oftentimes it is around how to deal with the situation with our child. But you have, you have to come to an agreement of how you are going to deal with your disagreements, basically. Uh, because for me personally, uh, I'll be you know, perfectly honest, is I never argued with my life partner before having children. And it's really when children were there you know, maybe giving us a, you know, having a situation and we come to parenting with our own baggage, with our own childhood experience and such. So sometimes that doesn't, you know, there's a disagreement there. So you have to agree to a way that you are going to deal with this disagreement. What I suggest are kind of nonverbal uh, signs that you can use to kind of let each other know, I've got this, I'm going to handle it, you know, my way. And, and you know, you just observe uh, and we can talk about it afterwards. But it's really important that the child sees you on the same team, right? That, that you are on the same team, that you are both together and you've got each other's back. So when you start arguing about how to deal with something in front of the children, that can be confusing for them, and then they will oftentimes figure out which which one uh, you know that they would rather deal with and such. So try as much as possible to find a way 
to communicate that you know you are disagreeing you're you're not okay with the way it's dealing and you're going to talk about it afterwards uh, so one that I really like and you can you can google this I will also put the link below I did um, an interview with the author of uh, the whole brain child uh, Tina Payne Bryson and Dan Siegel and Dan Siegel has um, an explanation of this on YouTube and I also asked uh, Tina Payne to explain this model the, the model of the brain in the palm of the hand which is an understanding of how our emotions can can trigger us and how we then lose kind of any uh, rational thought and so that can be just you know when you know that that can just you know doing something like this which means I flip my lid like I'm not I'm not being rational something like that can just be that nonverbal uh, piece of communication that you need to share with your partner so that you can just move on and and you know deal with the situation at hand and then you can talk about this um, you know not necessarily in front of your child that being said it's easier said than done right and we will have conflicts in front of our children and um, our, and arguments and such and that is reality that is you know arguments are good like we we you know we we can disagree it's there's nothing wrong with that it's how we do it in a respectful way in a kind loving way and such and so when you do have a conflict it's also very important to model making up or or saying like wow wow you know that was that was a heated debate and and you know I'm glad that we can talk openly about this and and I still disagree and I still love you and so forth or if you have come to an agreement then you can say and and I'm glad that we worked this out and we've come to an agreement because it's important to kind of model the full circle for the child as well so back to the initial question is how do I shield my child from uh, conflicts and arguments try as much as possible to not have them so you know uh, stop arguing and, and, and you know try to have these kind loving conversations and agree to disagree have tools that will give you uh, kind of a heads up of whoa this is getting you know uh, this is getting to be a conflict and I'd rather talk about it you know later on so kind of have um, um, an agreement that you've made beforehand of how you're going to communicate that and if there is an, uh, an argument try to keep it as civil as possible and make sure to go full circle and and apologize and you know um, make up that that uh, you know it was good to have this uh, conversation and um, you know if something did come out of it or something didn't then uh, then that's important but you know being aware of these conflicts I think is important also learning about you know non-violent communication uh, positive discipline for relationships you know having tools so that we can go through parenting as a team uh, and be on the same page as much as possible uh, which I'm sure you are but sometimes uh, conflicts do come up and I know I've had them and uh, you know they are they are I think part of the journey so hopefully that was uh, helpful for the the question about how do I shield my child from uh, our conflicts and arguments and if you've enjoyed these I would also invite you to join me for my live training my free live training that I'm doing next week on Tuesday and Thursday I'm offering four different times to try to um, be there for this beautiful amazing global community I will have two on um, Tuesday February 12th and two on Thursday February 14th different times uh, I will put the link below otherwise it is voila Montessori.com so my website v o i l a Montessori.com slash stress-free 
and uh, there you can sign up for this free live event. Um, if you're not able to attend it live, no worries. I will send out a replay. If you've signed up ahead of time and I have your email, I can send you the replay. And this is my seven proven strategies for a stress-free home. It's really what I have come to you know, realize and the tools that I've been using, not only for myself, but all of the families that I've mentored around the world of, you know, some simple tools that we can be aware of to help us really let go of this overwhelm, you know, that is around parenting. So it's really about, you know, really cre helping you create the home and family life that you've always wanted. So I hope you can join me for this training next week. Like I said, I will put the link below and uh, I look forward to seeing you there. And otherwise, I will see you here tomorrow for another Montessori moment. So go ahead and post questions. Uh, you can message them or just post, post them below. And uh, have a beautiful day and enjoy your little ones. Alrighty, take care. Bye-bye.